happening now. Astronomers are raising the alert level over an asteroid that could be on a collision course with Earth. They're giving it a 3% chance of hitting Earth in 2032, but that's the highest percentage ever given for a near-Earth asteroid. Fox 35's Evan Axelbank is hearing from the experts. This Atari-looking GIF is your worst nightmare in action. Hey, we just discovered this thing. Also, it might impact Earth in a few years. That's YR4 zipping through space at 38,000 miles an hour, as seen from the James Webb Telescope. There's no chance of you spotting that asteroid with binoculars. You need, right now, at least a two-meter telescope to even catch a faint glimpse of it. It's 30 million miles away and counting. Astronomers at Tampa's Museum of Science and Industry point out its orbit around the sun will eventually swing it back towards us. With 3% probability on December 22nd, 2032, it'll smash into Earth. This shows that it could hit Bogota, Lagos, Mumbai, or the ocean. But there's still a lot more that we need to learn before we can say, hey, if you live along this line, uh, be careful. The optimist, though, would say the football field size rock has a 97% chance of missing Earth. Dr. Marsha Ricci helps operate the Webb telescope and expects that in the coming months, they'll see if they can get good pictures of it in hopes of determining how severe an impact would be. An impact from this rock would be unlikely to end us all, but it could be similar to a nuclear bomb going off. So that's bad. I don't think uh, I don't think we need to take out asteroid collision insurance, but we do want to be sure that the people that do that kind of research and keep a close eye on such things are doing it. The saving grace, Ricky says, could be crashing a rocket into it, the way NASA did with this asteroid in 2022. The deflection could be enough to make the space rock buzz off. This small chunk weighs over 350 pounds. Mosey already has one meteorite in its collection, and it would rather not need to collect any more. We now live in a, in a time where we are able to make observations uh, with a lot of accuracy and also with ample time. There's definitely time to come up with a plan of attack. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense. Evan Axelbank, Fox 35 News.